Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. We are in our achievement run, slowly working towards the carnivore challenge, where we need to eat 400,000 calories of meat before cycle 100. We're on schedule, we're doing pretty well. I think we are at, let's take a look at the actual colony summary here. I think we're about a little close to halfway. Yep, almost at halfway there to the 400,000 calories with 47 cycles remaining. This is this is why we're, we are going to get another duplicate, help keep that balance of the amount of calories required. Uh, we're making some mush bars to help with the calories missing. We are also have, gonna have, we're gonna have some right now, some more uh, barbecue made. In the last episode, we started to carve out an area for the Drecklets. Uh, we need to have hydrogen in there so their scales keep growing. So we're going to work on that shortly here. And then we also created the spam area. We need to change this just a smidge. That way the sensors will work in the right capacity that we want them to. All we need is to change the priority of the manual generator so someone can start running on that. Let's see, what else do we have? We had some elderly hatches and we still have a couple more, 97 out of 100. So we should be able to get another egg out of this one. Seems like there was at least one or two more elderly hatches in some of these. And so prior to this episode, I was keeping one of the hatchlings out. But the problem is if you decided to attack and turn them into meat while one is running around, the one running around will eat the meat on the ground. So we have to be careful when we do that. And that's that's kind of why I decided to just go with, yeah, we'll just let them come out and put them in the stables as we need them to. Um, what else are we doing here? We added more, let's see, we added more liquid reservoirs. So we're trying to pump all of this water into the reservoirs. Where is it going as well? It's, it's going all the way over here. Okay, good. We have, I believe, the next research station. We do. So in the next couple, maybe the next cycle or two, we will create an area specifically for our research building. That way we get a bonus. Just adding it to the list of things that we want to complete. Let's see, what else do we need? Oh, they're almost done. Super close. I think this pattern looks really interesting. I like it quite a bit. Um, I could have finished it over here as well and made like a line, but that's okay. I figured this is be enough. Looks kind of pyramid-ish, I don't know. Thought it looked cool. Um, we have a little bit of refined copper, no smooth hatch yet, no smooth hatches yet. We have a skill point, oh, we have a couple skill points. Uh, bedside manner for you, what are you gonna do? Improved carrying, I believe that's always good to have, no matter no matter the duplicate, as long as they can carry stuff, it's definitely worth it. Okay. Once all of this is done, the rest of our tasks are going to be completed. I just wanted them to get this done so they can focus on removing the other stuff and just eat in the Great Hall with the extra morale. 
There we go. Just about done. I may shut this off with a manual door. We'll see how it goes. I haven't really decided yet. Okay, let's take a look at hydrogen in each of these. That's what you want with this because you want to be able to um, only have hydrogen in the gas pipe. Otherwise, if you don't, what ends up happening is you'll start damaging the hydrogen generator and that's obviously what you don't want because then they have to constantly repair that. Let's throw that up there. So we have some, see we have some power going in here, but we need to get a lot more hydrogen for that to work. Okay. I don't know if we're going to use this hot tub or not. I haven't quite decided. It's 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 nice to have, but you have to have water input and output. Let's see, what does it do? Hmm, we'll see. We will see if we decide to put it in there. Another skill point. Liam. Carry time. All right, more carrying capacity. There we go. More barbecue. We'll, we will have another dupe in this cycle. So just to make sure we have enough of this. Let's see, do we have any dust cap? Let's look at our seeds. Can we see our seeds? See all. Let's see. What do we have for seeds? Nope. No seeds. Hmm. So they deconstructed all of that. So now everybody's gonna eat in here. So everybody's getting the plus six morale bonus now. That's pretty sweet. Hopefully we'll see some of the overjoyed responses, like the sparklers or the yodeling or Everything of that nature. Let's take a look at all of the hatches. Are everybody happy? Okay, so there's an elderly one. Two more cycles. These all seem to be good. What about the ones in here? Hungry. Oh, that's May. Sorry, May. You should go go eat some food. More barbecue. Sixteenth or almost seventeen thousand cal of bar barbecue. That is great. Moment of truth. Ooh, muckroot. No, that's a that's a big no. Uh, we have Ruby with supplying or excavation and supplying. Hmm. Or bubbles, rocketry, operating, and farming. Hmm. No. No. I don't like this. I don't like getting the mouth breather. We're going to go with Bonnie. Yeah. There we go. Welcome, Bonnie. They're finally getting all this done.
Let's look at our eggs. 67, 2, 91, 71, 60, 70, 70, 44, 27, and 50. So we have a little bit of time before we get more barbecue. So this 14,000 calories for the next cycle will be good. We'll need to get, hopefully, we'll need to make more muckroot, not muckroot, uh, mush bars in the meantime. Just to push through, more skill points. What do we have? More carrying! And then Bonnie also carrying. Wonderful. It just really helps that they can carry so much more. Look at this room, it is completely finished. That looks fantastic. Let's look at our overlays. What do we have for gases? That's a lot of carbon dioxide. Holy cow. We'll need to do something about that in a little while. What else do we have? We have our power overlay. So there's nothing too crazy about this one. Temperature. Things are a little hot, a little toasty. Just a little bit. But we kind of took care of some of that. Hmm. Lots of copper right here. This would be good to get in a little while. We have sedimentary rock. We don't really need that too much. We have some meat over here. Let's look at, is this continuing? It is continuing. Okay, that's good. You know what I might do? I might do one of these things. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just to cool down the oxygen a little bit more. Change this to priority seven. And then this will also be a priority seven. So what I wanna do is just cool it a little bit more. So if we look at the pipes themselves, they're coming out at 51 degrees Celsius, down to 45, and then just before they leave the cold biome, they're down to 10.5 degrees Celsius. So it's cooling off, but I think we could get away with it being a little bit colder. So I'm gonna increase the amount of time that the oxygen is in the cold biome before it's sent right into the base. How long before you drop another egg? Oh, you've got some. 17% per cycle, so we've got a few cycles before you drop another egg. And what's the percentage? 34% sto uh, smooth hatchling, so that's not terrible. We're holding off on research until we catch up with a lot of these tasks. I want to get there. I want to get all of these caught up pretty much. Also want one of these guys. Oh, they, that looks a lot different. You know, I like the looks of it now. Before it didn't have this like little section underneath it it was just a whole like oval and it landed on top of the tiles perfectly i definitely think i like that a little bit better let's look at our gases okay our gases are good um 
Ventilation. There we go. This is just going to make sure that this does not stop. We don't want the hydrogen to stop at all. We want to make sure that we get plenty of it. Yeah, we want enough hydrogen to continually keep this fed, but we want to keep this section of the pipe empty. That way, if this, this doesn't overpressurize and then stop. if this gets backed up. Okay, so all of them are doing that. What's the priority? Did I set a higher priority? I did, a little bit. Good. All of these are getting lullabied. Good. I think this one hatched and that's why we didn't get one on there. Wow. That's super quick. Super duper fast. Wow, they ate all of that food. All of that barbecue is gone. Well, what happened there? Wow, all that barbecue eaten so fast. What I'd like to know is how did these get built <laughs> before everything else? <laughs> Did I, did I change the priority? Is that why? Oh, it is a six. Okay, well that kind of makes sense. Okay, let's take a look at... I know we've been keeping this meal wood right here, but I think we gotta say adios. Because I want a science room. A science room would be great. Let's actually change this to seven. Because I think we have 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're missing a bed. We need to, we need to complete this stuff. This needs to be a higher priority. Only because we need another bed. Oh, you can literally click it and it changes it. Wow, okay. Well, I want them to be the fancy one. They all can be fancy. There we go. Wait a second. Harold! <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody help Harold. He's not having a good time up here. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Good job, Gene. It's too bad we can't make like a mega barracks. Like, whoosh! All the way across. That would be something, wouldn't it?
Okay, we're gonna want to go all the way over like this. Yeah, no, let's not take care of those. Mush fry, lots of mush fry. How's this one doing? Looks good up here. Oh, these are all done. All right, so, so since we have this cut tool, right, we, or disconnect tool, here's here's what we do. We build what we need it to do, right? Then we simply disconnect, and then connect it where we want it. And now watch. Now it's going to go in the loop all the way around. So right now it's coming out at 58 degrees. Remember, outside of the cold biome, it's leaving this at 22 degrees Celsius right now from the regular loop. Now we're starting at 56.4. And already, before we even get near the exit, it's it's already at 10 degrees Celsius, or 13 degrees Celsius. And you can see the temperature going around. It's warming up pretty quickly. This is what we're going to do to make it cool enough. Here, let's pause it. Let's see, where are we at? 12.4. And this is because it's still warm. Oh, I see. Okay. This is because it's behind the insulated tile. So what I want to do is go straight across instead. Because it's behind the insulated tile that's 20.1 degrees Celsius, it's kind of retaining its temperature. And we don't want it to retain that temperature. We want it to go lower in the base, right? So another thing we can do is just go straight up and just add to the loop. Because up here it's even colder, negative 64 degrees Celsius. So if I add into that, this is going to get way colder and that's what we want. We want it to get way colder. Okay, how's everything going down here? Oh look, another hatch. More barbecue. Hmm, must not be the biggest priority. There we go. More barbecue! And more mush. I really need to stop using this mush. Um, let's take a look at the germs over here. Okay. We still have a lot of germs right here on this slime lung. We are going to do... Let's see. One, two, three. Three or no, two. I think two would be enough. I only have it 96 tiles, so... Is that where I want it? No. There we go. Well, actually, well, no, that should be fine. There we go. This should be fine. want to add some ventilation. It'll be up here.
Well, that'll be interesting. Hmm. Oh well. We'll need to add another column so that way the hydrogen can come down from the reservoir down into this area. And it just so happens this is 96. 108. Hmm. It looks closer. We have more barbecue to be made. Okay, let's take a look at these eggs. 46, 47, 48, 50, 1, 2, 4, 5, 67, 71, 74. Highest I have seen is 76. Seventy-six. So a lot of these are going to hatch at the same time, and that's fine, because we'll have a plethora of barbecue at that point in time. Since we have 14,000 calories per day, if as long as we get five to 6,000 calories per day, we'll be able to hit the minimum requirement. But I think we're well above that. Especially with 31 hatchling eggs, we definitely have quite a bit more than I think necess necessary. Oh no. We just missed that one. Okay, now that this is done. Okay, so now let's look at Okay, so it starts at 57.1. We're gonna watch this one right here. It seems like there's quite a bit. Yeah, 57, leaving at negative, negative 6, so that's way less than about the 10 to 20 degrees Celsius that we had before, and then we could make it even more so, more cold if we want. Let's look at the temperature. So this stuff is starting to cool off. Let's, let's disable, let's disable this one for now. Forty-six percent on this incubation for the directlet eggs, so we have quite a bit of time still to get this set up. But I just want it done since we are well on our way to being in that position where we need to need to get the plastic. We want plastic ladders. We want we want individual bedrooms. All sorts of fun 
things that will require that the plastic from the glossy Drecos that we're gonna get. And there's a little Paku. Hey Paku. There are a lot of different ways to make a Dreco farm. This is the easiest way that I have found to make it. You just kind of make a big square room, kind of taller, not longer. And then they can just go and hang out up here. I mean, this is how it's worked for me. There's probably a better way to do this, but this is just how I've been successful with it. And then down here, what we will plant is mealwood. Probably don't need these, so let's get rid of them. Alright. We're in pretty good shape. We're letting some of the extra cold come in over here to cool off these pipes. Because it's super cold on this side of the Abyssalite. So you can see the difference, like even down here, well that's negative 44, that's negative 16, but up here it's negative 60 plus degrees Celsius. That's super duper cold. So with this, we'll do the same trick that we did down here, where we cut the pipe and then attach it, cut it and cut it here and attach it and attach it. See, I think this might not be good. I think this is going straight up. All of it's going right in here. It's not even going to the other one. Okay, so what we need to do is cut the pipe this way, and then it needs to go back. I must not have done this correctly. There is a better way to do it. So... Somebody get rid of this thing. I did it wrong. <laughs> we don't want it to go into the reservoir. We want it to go straight into the hydrogen generator. There's not enough of it just to do that. That's good. So now we'll start getting enough power. We won't have to have perpetually someone on the manual generators. Oh look, another one. And another one! There we go. More blueprints! Mm, we love blueprints. What did we get this time? Ooh, some frilly basin socks. Thick, soft blue socks with extra flounce. Well, that's nice. All available blueprints claimed. That is such a great idea. 
I can never stress it enough. Like, in most games, cosmetics are... They just make it... Add, add a lot of flavor to the game, right? We like flavor. Lots of barbecue. Hopefully we'll pass that 200k mark. Let's see, did we get close? I think we're actually pretty close. Oh yeah. We really hit 30,000 calories of that. That's really good. Now this is, this is doing better. Check the temperature again. I can see some of it getting cooler. I think some of the temperature right here is still leaking out. So I would like to put those in here, but the problem is we're gonna get some chlorine. I'm not too worried about it. That'll be okay. Another attribute increase. I wonder if we need to add a vent right here so that they can breathe up here. That would probably probably be helpful. Of that's done. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is I want to spread out the water so they can mop it up. Wow, that was fast. Some of these duplicates, they move super fast. Oh, another hatch. No? Good. So now that we've spread it out... Oh, it's still too much liquid. Okay. So then we'll also do it on the other side. That should be plenty of space for it to spread out. Wow, we're almost on cycle number 58. And we are well on the path to getting this achievement. Oh, everybody's going up here. You see, we're getting some oxygen in here. Because all we have is carbon dioxide and that's falling down, but it's not like falling down this way. A 
Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This is also going to let more of the cold come in. And I, I, w I would like that because I don't want super hot oxygen going in the base. I want it to help cool down the areas. Another... Almost done with this. Our hydrogen seems to be catching up again. That's that's what we want. I was a little, <laughs> a little irritated that the other one didn't work the way I wanted it to. I suppose I could do a valve. That requires plastics. Gas meter valve seems like it would be really helpful in this scenario, but I, don't, I guess I'm doing fine with that. I don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, we have 3% here, 87, 6, 30, 26, 13, 35, 20, 57, 9. So we're hitting about time right now at cycle number 58. I think that that's a really good spot. For us to stop this episode we've done very well and we've done accomplished quite a few things including whatever achievement this is what did we get there we go distribute a thousand kilograms of oxygen using gas vents <laughs> the actual name of the game oxygen not included so again please let me know how i'm doing do you think everything is going well do it is there any suggestions for the content is there, is there something different i could be doing please let me know in the comments i'm really excited to continue this run i'm enjoying having a audience with a playthrough because this is like i said this is the first time trying content creation and i'm finding it really enjoyable uh, also, I'm noticing about 80, 70 to 80 percent of the people watching this are not subscribed to the channel. I would love to grow my audience and, you know, share the knowledge of the game and and continue to create a community. So please, if you're enjoying the content, you know, do the normal things of liking and subscribing. If you wouldn't mind, it would re really help me out. But. Other than that, that's it. We're all done for this episode. Thanks, everybody. Have a good rest of your day, wherever you are. We'll catch you next time. See you later.